This is Birdman Mel, and we've just gone through a very cold spring here in Missouri, and we've been trying to help our martins out. I've got Debbie, our ace purple martin nurse. She's been feeding these martins every day, and we're going to feed them here today and show you how readily they go. If you look over the site, there's a house just two down from me that they're already back and eating on, uh, and you can tell the martins readily appreciate, and they need this nourishment because they're normal insects that they eat are not flying around. The other thing Debbie's doing is looking for nests being built so we can keep track of fledgling, and she's also removing the sparrow nest because sparrows are a vicious competitor of martins. So we'll go ahead and film. I'll probably not talk. We'll just go on down through here and we'll feed some martins and you'll see how readily they come and how easy it is just to put mealworms on the nest of the Lone Star Purple Martin houses that are our favorite. Thanks for watching. As you see, they'll, they'll stay in the house right up until the moment you feed them a lot of times. The other thing we've done, you'll see these orange cords. We put bird bath heaters in every house that puts heat into the house and helps warm the home chamber. You could also use a light bulb arrangement. Uh, some other folks have done that. Cody, if you want to come up, we'll just go ahead and film putting it into the uh, thing. Show them how great these Lone Star houses work. You may have noticed that there's gourds as well as houses in our complex. We do that because some martins like gourds, I believe, particularly if they were raised there, and others like martins. We have noticed in the cold weather, and it may be because we're feeding on the porches and the heat is in the houses, that up to now the preference, of course, for the early arriving martins have been, hey, I want to live in that warm Lone Star house with the free breakfast that's served every day on the patio. There is insulation in the roofs of these houses. I think that's one of the other things that help. The other part I think is they're up. I believe the sun on here gives heat quicker perhaps than on the gourds. And uh, they seem to like it because they're up in the morning so they can uh, get the morning heat and they get the last in the evening heat too. And I think that makes a difference this time of year. We are gonna be doing our best to add a misting system of some sort. Uh, we had uh, some very tough days last July where we lost some jumpers and it's going to be my goal this year to put in some sort of heat system that will keep the whole complex cool in the summertime. And as you can see, they're already flying in over Debbie's head over there. That's the house we just fed and they're already there. We love these takeout trays on this house. Debbie's taking them out and dumping them. They slide out and there's actually been uh, filming done where the martins will come up and the babies, uh, af after they get some legs under them, after they a uh, 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 week to two weeks old, they start doing exercises on this even before they come out onto the porch as part of their development. Really cool thing that I like in, in this martin house. Cody, it looks like a lot of guys are ready for breakfast next door. We'll go on over there. Here comes breakfast, guys. One other thing I love about the Lone Star house, houses with the Adirac gourd racks is around America, we're lucky, we have light poles here and you'll see the markings on the light wires. Many homes don't have light wires and this wire that goes around the uh, gourd racks ends up being extra perching area for the martins. And I think they really do like that part of this system. Be patient, everybody. I'm coming. I think they're thinking, hey, Debbie, Jesus, too. One thing we're getting ready to do this afternoon, the winds were very bad. You will see predator guards on the bottom of all of our houses. Those are to keep raccoons, snakes, cats from getting up. A couple of them have fell down during the wind. We will raise them all up where they're on this hanging uh, device here that keeps them off the ground that makes them 100% uh, or nothing's 100% but it makes them very, very effective. Of 
Guys, the thing I'm feeding is live mealworms. For years, people thought you had to shoot crickets in the air, and that does work. Uh, I'm just not the most uh, coordinated person, and I was always worried about sometime I would go, and the cricket would come in me instead of going out to the martins. So that's why I just was determined to prove that we can feed live mealworms. Much more palatable to me than swallowing crickets together with the martins for breakfast. No, you don't worry. No, I'm about out. Oh. <laughs> okay, you need to get out of there. I'm good. Okay, here's a bad nest. What Debbie's pulling out is a sparrow nest. These are the type of nests that we clean out of the house. We'll go down and capture some film. One of the other things we do is we'll put some of that nesting material in a uh, uh, three-chamber sparrow trap that we have down uh, on the ground down in the middle of the complex. We also put uh, pop popcorn in such a device to help get the martins. It is important when you use any trap that you monitor it because you once in a while a non-target bird will go in there. Very, very rarely. I, Debbie, I've never seen a martin go on a no. one on the ground. No. Uh, so uh, you don't have to worry about that, but you don't want to catch a robin or something like that. So uh, that's why you always monitor the trap. This shows the uh, predator guard the way that we'll have all of them after we repair them today. Uh, again, up off the ground, keep snakes, raccoons, cats from getting to your market. Cody, turn around and look. They're already at the house right behind us saying, hey man, this beats IHOP. Getting the last of the mealworms out of the paper that they uh, put in with them to help preserve their, their longevity. Uh, I, I do think that if you look back out here in about 10, 15 minutes, we have a couple smart robins that have figured out that, man, right after feeding, there just happens to be a few bugs around. And uh, don't mind that, because I like those birds too. We do also feed the mealworms to bluebirds. I actually fed mine at home before I came out here today. Uh, particularly in the spring, bluebirds will, will readily take live mealworms and boy, uh, do they really appreciate them after the babies are born. You'll notice that the porches on the Lone Star houses are all separate. That's very important in any Martin house uh, that you buy. One male will walk a uh, side, and, and they call it male dominance. He'll try to say, hey, everybody, this whole section is mine. So instead of uh, having uh, you know, three uh, successful nestings in a row on many houses, you'll only get one on that whole floor. On these, it, it, it we'll come back and we'll film later in the year. Uh, we're close to, uh, awful close to 80, sometimes even 90% occupancy in each house because each porch is separate and one male cannot dominate. I do like the perch rods. Uh, again, you, you just can't have too many places for a Martin to perch. Some good, good, good stuff today. I'm enjoying feeding the Martins. Spring is my favorite time to feed the birds, other than during the uh, winter time when they desperately need it for snow. 
I've posted a, a, a blog today. Uh, one thing you want to remember is be ready for them. Uh, in our part of the world, hummingbirds are coming already today. Uh, we normally say tax day, April 15th. And the Orioles are here and they've come back. Uh, goldfinches turn bright go. Just, just a brilliant time to enjoy with your family uh, birds around your house. Uh, as we wrap this up, one of the things I want to mention is every day, if you can, uh, take a moment to listen to the birds sing because nature is a stress reliever from God. Thanks for viewing today. Wanted to spend another few seconds talking about a very vicious competitor of both purple martins and bluebirds, that's sparrows. Debbie's holding a sparrow nest she just took out. And just so you, if you want to make sure that you are dealing with the right species, those are the sparrow eggs that we're uh, absolutely going to destroy, and it's legal to do that because they're a non-native bird. Those guys and starlings are the enemies of purple martins and bluebirds across America. So feel free to take these nests out. Uh, we normally take them away from the site, otherwise the sparrow will go ahead and grab it and go right back up. And then again, as I said in an earlier video, the other thing we do is put some of that in our sparrow trap so that they uh, will come and, uh, and grab it out of there and then we can catch them uh, in the sparrow trap and humanely eliminate them.